by now I'm sure you're all familiar with the very unfortunate and sad story um, of the illegal immigrant from Venezuela who killed college student Lakin Riley about a couple of weeks ago in Georgia. Uh, college student Lakin Riley went out for a morning jog and unfortunately she didn't make it back to her apartment. She was murdered by an illegal immigrant. Joe Biden has handled this situation horribly. He has not spoken to the parents of Lake and Riley. He has not properly addressed the situation in any sort of meaningful way whatsoever. Um, and not only has he not properly addressed it during his State of the Union speech about a week ago, he uh, finally said her name after I believe Marjorie Taylor Greene was shouting, say her name. When he said her name, he pronounced it wrong. He couldn't even say Lake and Riley. Um, he is so out of touch with this situation and he cares so little about Lake and Riley's loss of life and her family that he went on to say her name by calling her Lincoln Riley. Yeah, Lincoln Riley. So the one chance he had to actually say her name, he fumbled that. But now he's doing interviews where he's apologizing to the illegal immigrant that killed Lake and Riley. Yeah, during his State of the Union speech, he referred to the guy that killed her as an illegal. Um, after that, he received a lot of backlash from Democrats and liberals saying that that term is inappropriate. He should be referred to as an undocumented person. So liberals are more concerned with respecting um, an illegal immigrant who was also a murderer than they are on addressing the crisis at the border and preventing another young person like Lake and Riley from having their lives took by an illegal immigrant. So we know where, where their heart lies. They're on the side of the wrong. They're on the side of the illegal. They're on the side of the murderers, right? The non-citizens. Take a look at this ridiculous video of Joe Biden apologizing to the illegal immigrant that murdered Lake and Riley for referring to him as an illegal during his State of the Union speech. Please take a look at this. I noticed the look of surprise on your face when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not gonna do, what I won't do. I'm not gonna treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and, and more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. In case this hasn't fully registered in your mind yet, really th think about this. Let's break this down. A young girl, a college student with her entire life ahead of her, an American citizen, an innocent, hardworking, ambitious young girl is murdered in cold blood, brutally murdered in a savage-like way in Georgia while she goes on a morning run. She never makes it back home to her roommate. She was viciously killed by someone who isn't even supposed to be here. An illegal immigrant who has no business even being in our country. That's who kills this girl. So after that happens, the president of the United States does not speak to the girl's family. He does not publicly address the situation. He is basically forced to address the situation while he was on stage during his State of the Union speech. After being heckled by Marjorie Taylor Greene, he finally addresses the situation publicly for the first time, right? And in doing so, he stutters all over himself. He barely says anything that makes any sense and he mispronounces the young girl's name. Then a few days after he's being interviewed, the interviewer says, hey, you called that murderer and illegal. Do you regret that? He says, yes, I should have called him an undocumented person. Are you kidding me? This is the president of the United States siding with the illegal murderer rather than siding with the American citizen who lost her life, siding with her family. There is nothing wrong or inaccurate about referring to an illegal immigrant as an illegal. That is exactly what they are. 
Some may say that's mean. Some may say that's not polite. But this crisis we're experiencing in our country, we're far past the point of politeness. We don't have time for that. Our country's being invaded. That's the reality of the situation. America is being invaded. And there is a lot of foul play going on here. We are going to lose our country if we spend all of our time focusing on being polite rather than calling it what it is. And what it is, is we're being invaded by millions of illegals. And now they're killing innocent American citizens, such as the case of Lake and Riley, which is an extremely unfortunate incident. But the reality of the situation is this isn't the last time we're going to see a story like Lake and Riley. And I hate to say that. And I hate to use her name as some sort of talking point. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just being real. When you import millions of people from the third world undocumented with no sort of background check, no sort of regulation, no sort of system in place to keep track of who is entering the country, you're going to have a lot of bad people coming here. You're going to have murderers. You're going to have drug dealers. You're going to have rapists and pedophiles. I mean, you're talking about people who are coming from rough places and you're not even doing any sort of regulation or checking on who they are, what they might be partaking in. It's just a free for all. People are coming and going whenever they want. Yeah, a lot of bad people are going to enter the country when that is your immigration policy, right? So unfortunately, unless something dramatic or radical happens very soon, I believe there will be more stories like this. That's why we gotta go vote. Come November, we have to make sure Donald Trump gets back in the White House. Donald Trump is going to save our country in so many ways. Because right now our country has been led astray. Our country has lost its way in almost every way, shape or form. But there's one thing they haven't counted on. That's and that's you. That's me and you. Right. Getting Trump back in the White House must happen. That's why we got to really, really come come up and show up and vote come November. Uh, this is probably the most important election of mine and of your lifetime. So we have to act accordingly because the fate of our country depends on it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel and stay on the lookout. There's a lot more daily and consistent videos coming your way.